Hello everybody, welcome back. We are on level three of lesson 17, mouse input. So we're gonna control the gears again. Here is the same program, but with one small difference. Do this, read the program carefully, especially line 13, which is right here, uh, to figure out how to control the gears. Run the program and test whether you were correct. Make the gears spin the opposite way when there is no user input. So expand the if statement into an if else, add code to the else section of the conditional, that uses the counter pattern to rotate the gears the opposite direction. All right, so line 13 says, if mouse down left button, that means that this is gonna run, um, again, just like it did last level, except it's only gonna run when we press the left button on our mouse, just like that. All right, however, we wanna make it run even when we're not uh, doing anything. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to once again copy the code we're going to put it in the else button and we're going to switch the uh signs the addition subtraction signs so what this is going to do is um if we are pressing the mouse button it will run like this however if we're not pressing any buttons if we're not pressing any keys it's going to continue to rotate the opposite direction so if I reset and run, it, okay, my hands are off the keyboard, they're off the mouse. You can see that the gear is running. And then when I put my hand back on the mouse and I press for the left button, it's gonna go in the opposite direction. There we go. All right, so uh, level three is done. That was super, super easy. Um, but what you can see is now, instead of using the keys on our keyboard, now we're using our mouse. And so that's what's gonna be the main focus as we move forward in this lesson. All right, so we're gonna press finish and I'll see you on the next level.